Hey guys, it's Thespa. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a very large AliExpress Harry Potter haul. Um, these are things that I have ordered from AliExpress. They are Harry Potter themed or um, go along with the kind of the Harry Potter um, group of movies and books and uh, the story. Things that I thought would go well aesthetic I guess you might say anyway there's all kinds of goodies in here and I'm going to open them up and we'll see what I got and kind of see the quality and you can kind of get an idea of what there is and whether or not you want to buy it from AliExpress yourself so stay tuned we'll get into this in just a moment Okay, so the first item, so I have pre-opened all these bags, and I have looked at them already. I just uh, have left them put up until I could do this. Well, I've kind of looked at them. I haven't looked at them 100%. This is a little witch hat that is, uh, I believe it's wool, but it's a very cute kind of... Um, Bobaton shape, you know, it has that that kind of rounded with a little tiny point. So it's a really cute little little hat. Um, I think it was like three bucks or something like that um, with free shipping. Three, it was like three something with free ship free shipping, and it was, I mean, in my mind, that is a hundred percent worth it because it is very well made. It is a good pattern. And it has a little bit of wire in the edges. Um, I'll, there were some comments saying that um, it was too small, like the hat was super small, but I don't find that to be true, at least not with this one. I have kind of a, a big head, <laughs> and this fits just fine. Um, I mean, it's snug, but, you know, if you wear a hat that fits you well, then it's going to be. You don't want something that's just flopping around. But this is a very nice hat. I mean, this is like something warm that you could wear for um like you know when it gets cold and stuff like it's a really cute hat i love this the the shape of it is really nice it's very well made and it's definitely i'd say definitely 100 percent worth the money that it costs so definitely to me this was a win for um for that now uh, the next thing is this daily profit kind of poster this one was a fail um, if it had if it hadn't come all you know it's really wrinkled and crushed it was not sent in any kind of a plastic tube it had no cardboard rolled with it nothing to protect it from getting squished it was literally just this rolled up in a plastic bag and it was crushed flat when it got here obviously so i mean it's a good sturdy piece of uh, paper that's printed on the print is pretty nice um the only issue with it is like i said it was completely flattened so it's got all these creases and stuff which you know you could iron it out but for you know i don't even remember how much this was but I mean, it seemed pretty reasonable to me, but, uh, you know, not for, not for that. So if you're looking at these, I'd pass on them because they're not, they're not mailing them in a way that protects them. So, but I mean, it's, they've still got several different designs, so that's up to you. If you don't mind it coming all wrinkled, that's, that's up to you. All right. So the next thing, the next thing is a scarf. And I am a Ravenclaw, so this is a Ravenclaw scarf. Excuse the crinkle. And I haven't actually pulled this one out yet, so. So, yeah, I mean, it's, I think this was around $3 with free shipping. So, uh, let me see. From my elbow to my hand twice for one side. So, elbow, elbow to fingers four times that's about how long it is just to give you an idea um the the you know it's not a super heavy super thick 
scarf. So, I mean, it's something that you could easily wear like in the fall or something and not get too hot, but it's also plenty tight enough weave that you could wear it during the winter as well. Um, now I'm going to pick this apart a little bit because, you know, my main job <laughs> was an industrial embroidery machine and there is thread caught into the, um, the stitching for the embroidery so there's a little red thread so I kind of like ding it for that but you know little trimming and stuff um, the raven isn't the greatest but it's not terrible so you know if you're just holding it out like this it looks like it's got a nice patch on it so not bad for three bucks I'll take that I mean that's worth it to me you might feel differently but for the most part those are pretty nice okay so the next thing is a pack of Harry Potter playing cards. And I haven't opened these, so I don't know. Um, and they actually have in English and I assume French, but uh, let's open these up and take a look at them real quick. Maybe. Okay, now that we've got that taken care of. Um, the, the printing on the box is, um, it's okay you can kind of tell that it's not the highest quality, but it's not terrible. Um, it does have a shiny sheen to it. And what I mean by highest quality, I don't know if it will pick up, but you can like, it's kind of grainy a little bit, just enough to be not great, but it's not terrible. Um, these were like two something, I think. So we'll just open it up here and see what it looks like. Let's see, I mainly got these to make, um, to make, uh, shaker cards for, um, like junk journals and stuff. So, I mean, you've got all these, the, that's kind of a nice little graphic there. Let's see, we have Buckbeak, Cauldron, this is why I wanted them for shaker cards because they each have something different. Harry's Wand. Dementor, Quidditch, Prophecy Orb, Hungarian Horntail. So yeah, it's got all these cool. I mean, it's a. Um, they're the cards themselves are pretty nice. I mean, they're they have that kind of card texture to them. They're they're fairly thick, so they're pretty good cards. You could definitely use these as a set of playing cards for sure. Um, but they have all the different characters and things on them which is kind of why I wanted them because they have all those cool um, designs for, you know, adding to a junk journal. You can make little tags or whatever, or you could just play, you know, play a deck of cards. We've got a chocolate frog and a night bus. So, you know, all of those images are pretty good. The actual set of cards is well made, so not bad. Um, I would say definitely get this if you've got a Harry Potter fan. Be a good uh, stocking stuffer, but just be prepared to wait because anything from AliExpress takes a little while. Uh, there for a while when they were having the worst of it, the worst of the, um, you know, the coronavirus, they, uh, China got the, the rough end of the stick for a little while there. So they were really far behind on shipping things, but it is, it is picking up as far as the speed. So, you know, just keep in mind, it's going to take a while. Be ready to wait. Um, then I found this little guy. He was so cute. I love this thing. I was afraid that it was going to come and it was going to be, you know, kind of crappy quality, but it's actually really nice. Found this little, little keychain, chocolate frog keychain. It's got this really well-made, um, kind of lacquer on metal, um, key fob here. And then we've got this little... He kind of feels like rubber a little bit. He just looks like a chocolate frog, like like he's about to jump off my key ring. So that was definitely worth the, the $3. I think it was like three something. Most of the things I bought are like three bucks or less. Um, so yeah, and it was free shipping as well. That that one right there, I would say is 100% definitely get this because it is well made. It's a good quality. Um it's just a really nice little keychain. 
So somebody that loves Harry Potter is going to love this. So if you see these on there, definitely get one because they are very nice. And if you keep shopping around, you'll find one that has free shipping. Um, that, that's something I have learned on AliExpress is uh, you can usually find things from different sellers that are the same price, but one seller will be charging shipping and another seller, the shipping will be free. So if you shop around a little bit, don't just buy the first one you see you'll get some really good deals. Okay, the next thing was these little uh, stickers, and these are pretty nice for stickers. There's a lot of really cool ones on there. Um, these are a little bit thinner than some of the other ones that I have bought, um, but they're still pretty nice stickers, so a lot of really cool designs on there. I got these for, I'm going to be making some Harry Potter junk journals. And uh, lots of really cool Ravenclaw, cute designs, lots of, lots of, that one's really adorable as well. <laughs> but yeah, a whole, you get a lot of stickers for a pretty low price. I was thinking that these were like a dollar something um, with free shipping, so yeah. Lots of stickers. I think there's like 50 stickers there for a dollar something. That's pretty good. Um, you know, pretty good, decent quality and uh, size. So those are cool. All right, next thing. This is the pins that I got. Some really cute pins for really cheap. Um, like I said, around a dollar, two dollars. This one is Felix Felicis Liquid Luck, and it is very sparkly. I don't know if you can see the glitter in that thing, but it is really, really glittery. And then the little tag, the lettering is just spot on with that little tag. And I just love the fact that it had a little dangly tag on it, so I went ahead and ordered that one. Very sparkly, incredibly sparkly, very glittery. So that was a really nice pin. Okay, and then this one is Ollivander's. If I can get it off of here. Okay. Alright, so this one is Ollivander's Wand Shop, and it is very detailed and well made. It's got a little owl in there and some sparkles and all the little wand boxes. It's very detailed. It's a fairly large pin. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice quality. So that one's really nice. It's a little bit dark, but then, you know, it's a picture of Ollivander's wand shop. It's not exactly a bright, shining place. <laughs> so... The next one is the Night Bus, and this one is a double back pin, and it is very well made as well. You can see the lettering on there and just all of the details. It's very, very, very nice. And then the last one, this one isn't necessarily a Harry Potter themed branded or whatever but it is a really cool witch hat that has some gold around it and with black enamel very detailed with the flowers just thought it was a really nice pin so I went ahead and picked that one up all right so the next thing is London to Hogwarts. It's a ticket for the Hogwarts Express. And I will show you, take it out of this bag so you can see just how pretty this is. Now, I honestly don't remember how much this was. It wasn't very much. It was probably around a dollar or something. But look how pretty it is. It is just gorgeous with all that foiling on there. Platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express Railway Authorities, London to Hogwarts, one-way travel, 
very, very pretty. Love it. It turned out really good. It's on kind of that parchment paper looking stuff. It's thin-ish, but it's not super thin. I mean, it's a good quality paper, so it's pretty nice. So I really like that. That turned out good. That will be a nice little stocking stuffer for someone. And the next thing. Okay, this this is one of my favorite things so far. So, these are wax seals. Um, this one isn't necessarily Harry Potter, but it does have a cool little potion bottle on it. So I thought that one was pretty cool. This one, again, not necessarily Harry Potter, but it does have a cauldron on it. So that's pretty cool. With little bubbles. And some of these are really small, and some of them are huge as far as a wax seal goes. They could have been a little smaller, but they're still really nice. They're made really well. Um, this one says Ministry of Magic. So that one's pretty cool. This one is the Deathly Hollows. Very pretty. Very pretty. Love these. These are very good quality. Well made. Nice little brass. This one says always. And it has the Deathly Hallows as the A. This one isn't necessarily Harry Potter, but it is really pretty. It makes me think of Professor McGonagall. So it has a little cat sitting here, kind of a little domed window, and then lots of little celestial stars and things um, all around the background and the moon phases and stuff. So that one really kind of reminded me of Professor McGonagall, so I went ahead and picked that one up. That was really detailed and really pretty. And then this one says Platform 9 and 3 quarters King's Cross Station. So that one's pretty cool as well. Again, another large one. So these two here are more like regular size wax seals. And the rest of these are quite large. You can see the difference in size. Very large. But uh, still really nice. Love those. Those are going to be fun to play with. Okay. So for the next thing... I got a lot of stuff. I got a set of these. I actually got a set of these um, for my daughter for Christmas last year. And they were so nice I had to order another set. And they say Storybook Cosmetics on the front. And um, I realized after I had ordered these, I didn't realize it after the first time I ordered them, but after I ordered these, someone had left a... Um, Someone had left a message on the bottom of one of the reviews saying that they had stolen this idea from someone else. So I don't know if it's the company is called Storybook Cosmetics or if that was just something that they created. But regardless, this is what came. And it's got a nice little velvet type bag. And then all of these are, they come in plastic or in metal. And I think it was about $5 for the whole set. And I got the metal one. I'm going to show you just how pretty these are. And these are not light. These are very, these are heavy. I mean, as far as how much they weigh. But here we have uh, Dumbledore's wand, the main wand. And then it has this little makeup brush at the end. So that's kind of fun. You know, you got the different wands. Voldemort's wand. All the different, we got lots of different, we got five different wands and they each have a different makeup brush at the end. And these are actually pretty good quality and it comes with a really nice little pouch to put them in. So, you know, it's unfortunate that they stole this from someone else. I still haven't figured out where they came, where they originally came from, but... Uh, they are good quality, and I did pay $5 for them, and definitely worth the $5 in my opinion. 
Um, I don't know how much the original ones were or where they came from, but there it is. Um, this, I thought this was so cute, and I have not seen this anywhere else online. Maybe you guys have seen it somewhere. This is a Time Turner coin purse. Look how cute. Look how cute. It actually has sand that pours in between the two halves. I thought this was just brilliant and pretty. It's very gold. You know, you got the center, the outer ring, and then the next outer, outer ring, you got these two pieces here. On the back, it says mysterious things. Mysterious thing, time, powerful, and when meddled with, dangerous, Albus Dumbledore. So that is really, really pretty. You open it up, and you've got a little, a little pouch in here. This one actually says Harry Potter inside, so I'm not sure if that is a licensed product or, um, yeah, so actually has the Harry Potter symbol inside, so that's just a little, it's a little pouch that you can zip up like this. I thought this was, it is really pretty and it's very well made, and I think it was around... Gosh, I hate to say it and then it not be right. I'm thinking it was like somewhere between six and eight dollars. I think it was eight. Um, this is probably the most expensive thing I bought, but um, it's just so cute. I couldn't pass it up, but it's very adorable. It does have a licensed um, sticker inside, but I bought this from a company that actually makes purses. So, uh, very well made. I think that one really is worth the money. It turned out good. It's really pretty. Very well made. All right, the next item. Uh, I actually ordered a few other things that never made it, sadly. Um, and I waited and waited and waited, and now the purchase protection is running out. So I went ahead and filed a um, dispute. And AliExpress is really good about... Uh, if you don't get your item, they will refund your money. I have had, uh, I think, probably like four or five things refunded lately because just, you know, with all the coronavirus and the postal issues and stuff, the stuff just never came. So um, that is a risk you run, but at least they will take care of you. They don't leave you hanging. So this is a little pillowcase, and it has Severus Snape walking away in kind of a watercolor design. And it says, after all this time, always. This is a really nicely made, I mean, it's a nice fabric. It is kind of a off-white, tannish kind of fabric. In the pictures on AliExpress, it looks white. But I think that's just because if you're shining light on it, it looks lighter than it is. So, you know, that's just photography. But it's kind of a natural color um, see if I can get it closer so you can see. It's kind of a natural colored um, fabric, but it is a very nice fabric. It's a good weave, and the, the zipper is sewn in well. So, yeah, it's a very nice fabric. So, definitely these are worth it, I think, to me. They are, it's pretty large, too. I mean, it's from my elbow to the tip of my fingers, so it's a pretty good size. So, um, yeah, I think this was a couple of bucks, so free shipping very worth it. Most definitely worth it. So, uh, those are always good to pick up. Just keep in mind that if it looks like a white pillowcase, it's probably not because the natural is cheaper and easier to print on. So it's probably going to be like that. All right. Two more items. Uh, this one I actually ordered, uh, not for the print itself, but to use, um, as to to create to use as fabric basically because I want to make a purse or a backpack or something and I thought this would be a cool way to make a Harry Potter item. So this is a large print and uh, I don't know if it says it doesn't say but it's on canvas. It's kind of a shiny canvas. As you can see it's got a bit of a sheen to it but this is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade. This is large. They sell these in a lot of different sizes. You can get a little one. I think this is the largest one they had. You can see I'm still unrolling this sucker. It is quite long. 
and then we have you know the end here and then it does have a little bit of extra on the edges but I did uh, measure it and it is actually the printed printed part portion is actually the size they say it is and then it has that little bit of extra on the edges for their print machine so this is gorgeous and it's nice and big this would be amazing for a wall um, you could make just about anything out of it um, I'm looking at it through the light here and it looks really cool with light shining through it so it might be a cool for a lamp to make a lampshade out of that would be really cool too but uh, a lot of possibilities for this not just hanging on on your wall but you know also for um, using for a printed fabric that is really nice um, and honestly this would make a really nice lampshade now that I'm thinking about it because it has that sheen on it it'd be easier to easy to clean and wipe off and just really nice so that might be something to look into I might be able to make a little lamp lamp for something plus use it for making a little purse or something as well so very very nice um, very good quality on that too so those printed uh, canvases are actually pretty nice so um, just keep in mind your uh, sizes so the last thing I got was a um, wand so here you can see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is what the box looks like. The box is really nice. Um, you know, it came in the mail pretty well packaged and it survived. It's got a couple of little, just very, very slightly bent corners, you know, from being banged around in the mail, but it's not crushed or anything. I have seen people's that got crushed. So just keep in mind that postage from China is always going to be you know a scary thing so uh so yeah this one is a luna love good wand and it is really pretty it's heavy um i i think it's really pretty so it's very just simple um i'm a ravenclaw and luna is one of my favorite characters so that's why i picked this one so very cool plus i have you know costumes and stuff that I can use, I can carry this with. So, you know, Luna is pretty cool. She's a cool chick. She's not afraid to um, dance to the sound of her own drum, beat of her own drum. Um, so the only the only thing about this wand is that the end is quite blunt. Uh, it doesn't come to a fine point, but um, I'm sure there's a reason you know they got to fit it into a certain size so the end is quite blunt but it's not terrible so pretty nice little wand here and it was fairly cheap so it's definitely worth it for what I paid so very nice nice little case nice little box so very worth it pick that up so that was my Harry Potter AliExpress haul. Uh, so many cool goodies that I would definitely, definitely buy again for sure. Um, really only one that I wouldn't buy again for sure. And then there was a few that didn't come. One of them was a pillowcase that had Ravenclaw design on it. It just, you know, sadly it didn't make it to me. But I did get refunded for it. So any of the ones that didn't come, I did get a refund for. So um, lots of cool stuff in this haul. Uh, if you can see, I have placed my pins on my little witch hat, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so lots of goodies. Um, fairly cheap. Uh, there's plenty of reputable sellers on AliExpress. Um, there are some, unfortunately, some bad eggs that sell stuff that is, you know, made by made by or for another company. So that's unfortunate that they would, you know, take the money from them. I wish I knew where those actually came from, but um, uh, you can never tell. Some of them are going to be on the up and up and selling products of their own, like the little purse. And some of them are just going to be not good people. There's those kind of people everywhere in the world, not just in China. So um, anyway, lots of good stuff. Most of the stuff is very good quality. I would definitely recommend. Um, the only issue is you have to wait for a while for it to come. But, you know, if you're okay with that, then 
have at it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'll see you next time. Bye.